And then we're going to go onto our backs. Um, and then we're going to go onto our backs. So this is where the weights come in. So if you just spin onto your back with your knees up, um, you can have a pillow if you need to, or just straight back on the floor like this. And then we're going to start by doing a few glute bridges. So if you just flop on your back and tuck your pelvis under, and then you just lift off one vertebra at a time until your bottom lifts off the floor. And then once you're at the top, just start with your mid back, start going down onto the mat, one vertebra at a time until you reach the mat and then rock your pelvis back. So again, tuck your pelvis under and lift off and then return back down to normal. Do a few of these. You don't have to go up too high. You should really feel it under here, under your bottom. This is great for glute strength. It's also great for mobilising your lumbar spine as well. And for core, core work too. We'll just do one more and then we'll bring in some arm movements. So with your weights, just bring them out to 90 degrees like this. And when we're going up into our glute bridge, we're going to just flex our arms up this way. So up into a glute bridge. And a press. And back down. Glute bridge. Press. And back down. And again, if you're finding this too easy with the weights, then use some something a bit heavier. Some free weights or bottles of water or wine, something a bit heavier than the cans. And then to vary, vary it a little bit, again go up into your glute bridge and this time we're going to start with our arms out um, like this and we're going to bring them over our head. This really does help with shoulder mobility and back down again. more and the last one again you can do a few more of these this is just a relatively quick uh, body workout if you if you're capable and you don't feel too tired do a few more reps um, and and that's it hope you enjoyed it